Yechez Ke'et, Ezekiel 33. Again, the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, speak to the children of your people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts, and set him for their watchmen, if when he sees at the sword come upon the land, he blow the shofar, and warn at the people, then... Whosoever hears at the sound of the shofar and takes not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard at the sound of the shofar and took not warning, his blood shall be upon him. But he that takes warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see at the sword come, and blow not the shofar, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So you, O son of Adam, I have set you a watchman unto the house of Yashadael, Therefore you shall hear the word at my mouth, and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, you shall surely die, if you do not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at your hand. Nevertheless, if you warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But you have delivered your soul. Therefore, O son of Adam, speak unto the house of Yashadael. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, says Adonai Yahuwah, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Yashadael? Therefore, the, rather, therefore, son of Adam, say unto the children of your people, The righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turns from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sins. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trust to his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he has committed, he shall die for it. Again, when I say unto the wicked, you shall surely die, if he turn from his sin, and do that which is lawful and right. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed, walk in the statutes of life without committing iniquity. He shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins that he has committed shall be mentioned unto him. He has done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. Yet the children of your people say, The way of Adonai is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. When the righteous turns from his righteousness and commits iniquity, 
he shall even die thereby. But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet ye say, The way of Adonai is not equal. O ye house of Yashadar El, I will judge you every one after his ways. And it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity, in the tenth month, in the fifth day of the month, that one that had escaped out of Yerushalayim came unto me, saying, The city is smitten. Now the hand of Yahuwah was upon me in the evening, afore he that was escaped came, and had opened at my mouth, until he came to me in the morning, and my mouth was opened, and I was no more dumb. Then the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, they that inhabit those wastes of the land of Yashadael, speak, saying, Avraham was one, and he inherited at the land, but we are many. The land is given us for inheritance. Wherefore say unto them, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Ye eat with the blood, and lift up your eyes toward your idols, and shed blood. And shall ye possess the land? Ye stand upon your sword, ye work abomination, and ye defile eth every one his neighbor's woman. And shall ye possess the land? Say you thus unto them, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, As I live, surely they that are in the wastes shall fall by the sword. And him that is in the open field will I give to the beasts to be devoured. And they that be in the forts and in the caves shall die of the pestilence. For I will lay at the land most desolate, and the pomp of her strength shall cease. And the mountains of Yashadael shall be desolate, that none shall pass through. Then shall they know that I am Yahuwah, when I have laid at the land most desolate, because of all their abominations which they have committed. Also, son of Adam, the children of your people still are talking against you by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak at one to another, every one at to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that comes forth from Yahuwah. And they come unto you as the people comes, and they sit before you as my people, and they hear at your words, but they will not do them. For their mouth they show much love, but their heart goes after their covetousness. And lo, you are are unto them as a very lovely song of one that has a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument. For they hear your words, but they do them not. And when this comes to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them.